back there? Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. a little bit of it. Check the gonads of four different locations of rock scallops. The breakwater, which is this one. The oil rigs, which is this one. The harbor, just hanging off the dock here, which is this one. And the tanks that we have here at SCMI. So we'll open these guys up. And area of this is that, due to the different locations, the phytoplankton variety and nutrient level is going to be different. So in theory, the ones out at the oil rig that have a lot more current and higher nutrition of the phytoplankton is going to have better gonads than the ones here, let's say in the harbor. Have here is our four different locations. Mm -hmm. This one's a male from the oil rig. So as you can see, it's a really ripe male, that bright white color. So that one's definitely ready to go. And then we move over to the ones from the breakwater. Still a lot of current, pretty good nutrition, but as you can see, the this is a female. It's a little bit lighter on the orange, but um, it'd probably be given off at least some sort of eggs. They might be right, might not be right. And on this one, this one is from the tanks here at the SCMI hatchery. And barely pink at all so that one's definitely not ripe it will be a female but it has a long way to go before it gets there not anymore oh. <laughs> not anymore <laughs> and then over here we have another female this one is from the harbor here hanging off the dock same thing as the ones that are in the tank though hardly any color definitely not ripe has a long way to go determined from this is that the more current, the better phytoplankton that's in the water will help kind of boost them up, getting ready for um, reproduction.